New York City has been taken over by the chain store pharmacy. Locals no longer use them just for an acre of pain. Rather, they are quasi-department stores. Our next stop, C.O. Bigelow Apothecary in Greenwich Village, has managed to buck the trend. And as you're about to see, there's something lost when your local pharmacy goes corporate. Before there were chain store pharmacies, healthcare insurance, or even an abundance of doctors, many early Americans relied on the local apothecary. A cross between a pharmacy and a family physician, apothecaries treated minor illnesses like colds or rashes, often making medicine in-house. It was not unusual for apothecaries to even conduct an occasional surgery or assist a mother with childbirth. Apothecaries, for the most part, have transformed into the modern pharmacy, but personal care and customer service, for the most part, did not follow. Luckily for New York City, the apothecary experience is still available, minus the childbirth and in-house surgeries, at one of the last and oldest apothecaries in America, C.O. Bigelow. I think that the web and the chain stores have taken away that apothecary experience from people and I think, frankly, that's an experience that people didn't want taken away. If you pick one customer, she's 25, 30, 35 years old and let's say she doesn't feel well. So you have a choice of going to a chain store where they say, well, the cold stuff's over there or you can come here and we have what we call pharmacy clerks at our counter so they say what's the matter i don't feel good tell me what's wrong so in my store if you want tylenol you have to ask for it all medicine is behind and we do that on purpose because the average retailer would say that's insane but for us we want that connection with the customer and and what makes this place different than like walgreens because they give you personal attention right paul always and he told me that he would do it but i'd have to sit for a half hour which i didn't mind because it's nice and cool but they always try to accommodate you and you knew the grandfather <laughs> yes yes when i was here was the grandfather and the father working here and i miss them in a lot of ways, this place hasn't changed, has it? That's true, it hasn't, which is good. And you can always run up a bill, right? I'm charging that. Did I tell you? Oh, I'll take care of it. Okay. <laughs> See what I mean? Is there anything else I can uh, get for you? Oh, some ice cream, but I'll buy it up the street. All right. Thank you. Sprinkles, right? <laughs> C.O. Bigelow's history goes all the way back to 1838, when it was founded by Dr. Galen Hunter. After a few ownership changes, Clarence Otis Bigelow came along in 1880. Then in 1939, the Ginsburg family took over. Now, third generation owner Ian Ginsburg runs things. So we had customers such as Mark Twain and Thomas Edison and Mrs. Condé Nast. And, and if you look through our archives, you'll see you know, notable politicians. But that's because people really didn't travel. So the, the, most of those people lived in this area and they all shopped here. Other notable customers include Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt and Mae West. Her purchase records could be an intriguing read, but alas, Bigelow keeps all their customers' records under lock and key. They did, however, give us a peek at their original medicine and compound recipe books, which make for a fascinating read. You see how they treated things. You see how different ingredients they used for different ailments. You see that a lot of things were made in suppository form, a lot of mouth rinses. We did a lot of animal medicine in those days. And it's funny, and in these books, it'll have some of the formulas are named for what they are. Some of the formulas are named for the doctor who prescribed them constantly, and some of them were just named for the patient. So I'll have formulas that'll just say lemon cream. I'll have a formula that'll be like Dr. Hyosis's Quince hand cream, and I'll have formulas that Mrs. Blarney's dog medicine. Entering C.O. Bigelow's is a rarefied experience, for it is one of the very few Victorian-era store interiors left in all of New York City. When you walk in the store, everything that you look at that looks real is real. So the ceiling is original, going back to 1902. The, the tile floor is original, the wood fixtures are all original, and the lights are original, and they used to burn gas. Up until the 1980s, C.O. Bigelow was even equipped with a soda fountain luncheonette. 
it was a gathering place of kind of a who's who of cool New York. And so you'd have, um, at one side you'd have Ron Reagan Jr. and you'd have the setting, a live crew with John Belushi, and you'd have um, Ramsey Clark and Ed Koch, and you'd have the New York Dolls, and you'd have whoever was recording at Electric Ladyland. It was kind of a really cool place. C.O. Bigelow is also famously known for stocking hard-to-find health care and cosmetic items from around the world. People say, if you can't find it anywhere else, try Bigelow's. Because there are so many great products out there that get lost in the sea of planograms and chain stores. I personally travel all around the world looking for just cool stuff that I think would be really interesting. So, Ian, one of the fun things I love about this store is you just walk around and there's stuff here, literally, that I have no idea what it is. <laughs> like, what is Email Diama? It's, it's called Email Diamant, and it's not an everyday toothpaste. It's actually a red toothpaste. And it's used for actors, actresses, models, um, or if you have a hot date. And what it does is it makes your teeth appear whiter because your gums appear redder. So it adds, huh. a, it, it adds a temporary red color to the gums and it gives you a sparkling smile. Swiss Chris. Swiss Chris has been around for, I don't know, 50 or 100 years and it's an herbal laxative and it's very mild. And it's, uh, uh, oh, it's see, a, I thought it was a tea. <laughs> yeah, well, it is a tea. <laughs> oh, it, it is. Okay. It is a tea, but it, it's, a, it's a drinkable herbal laxative. And but you better make sure that you know what kind of tea this is. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. It's not just your everyday day tea. It's not, uh, it's not nighttime, no. sleepy time. Or uh, drive dye, morning yeah. commute tea. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. Definitely not. We, there are many products that we make today, but there are some products that came out of these old recipe books that go back over you know, 100 years. And as the years go by, Ian says they continue to find ways to enhance the customer experience at CO Bigelow. And if their loyal customers are any indication, they must be doing something right. You know, we see celebrities all the time, but, but me personally, what really fuels me is to see people like Terry Richardson or Gilles Ben Simone or Calvin Klein, who probably don't run their own errands, they don't go to the grocery store, they don't go to the dry cleaner, but the one thing they do do is they come to Bigelow's. Now for you out of town, our CEO Bigelow offers a lot of their products online. Also, many of them are used as amenities in luxury hotels and resorts across the country.